All right, it's a good day today. Cranking this crankshaft so that I can put the flywheel bolts in. If you've never done before, <clears throat> taking off or putting on, fly, uh, you're attaching the flywheel to the torque converter. This little access plate. Camera work under the car. Give me a break. So those will line up. Okay. So I got that one in. I'm just doing them hand tight until I get. Where's my socket? All of them ready. So now I'm gonna go up here. And if I was had a partner, you know, they would take this off for me. Put it back over here and spin it again. And I do it all myself. Let's see if we're upside down or not. Everything's all confused. Okay. Go about. Now it's quarter turn. Let's see what we're looking like for the next one. We made it there. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Quarter turn, there's the bolt hole. So I'm just gonna keep going around until I get all these in. I see labeled bag. Don't grab the wrong nuts and don't forget your washers. Let's see here. Schwinks. Grade 10. It's about a half inch long, maybe, but don't quote me on that. Now do it yourself. <laughs> so I got done putting all the flywheel to torque converter bolts in, and now there's this cover plate here, and it only has one bolt, even though there is another bolt hole right, he right in here. Maybe I need a new plate. It does have some rubber edges that go around that mine doesn't have, but look at you're gonna go off-roading even get up to even the center of the wheels if this isn't sealed you're gonna get water inside your bell housing possibly mud or sand just grind it around on the flywheel so something to look out for not sure what the definite fix for this is or if guys that really want to do water crossings seal this up or does it need to stay open in case there's condensation or something in there but <coughs> taking a look further down now I did a uh, made kind of a mount for my transmission um, adjustment I took some 1 inch 1.25 steel square tubing and just made an extension for that on both sides a little long on the ends but whatever I wasn't able to get something else in that second hole, so it may be a little weaker than original. I still have to hook up the front drive shaft, but I'll do that after I get the exhaust in. Which I have plenty of room for now with the two inch body lift. Just looking up here, there's a ton of room in between the floorboard and the floor pan and everything. So lots of room to work up there, get my hands in there. <clears throat> it's time to go on to the good stuff. Putting the fan and radiator on. This was for adjusting the, turning the flywheel crankshaft. So I can get all those bolts and torque them down. I wanted to show you inside what's going on with the four wheel drive shifter. Because I moved the transfer case and transmission. <clears throat> Two, uh, an inch back or two. Um, let's see, where are we at here? Yeah. So, this one, this one is from the GX. It's from the um, diff lock. But I won't be using a diff lock because the FJ transfer case automatically locks the diff when you put it in four. All right, so this guy ideally, obviously, should be in the center here and he's not he's pretty close back here at one point I pushed him a little hard and, and this was raised up a little and it uh, bent it a little no big deal but the thing is when I shift this now once to hit here
because it's shifted back. Which, it's going to be fine. I just may have to change the that center console part, whatever you call it, um, to make a little more space for that in between here. But, I'm glad that came out. Next up, <clears throat> it's going to be putting in the electronics after I do the rest of the lines, radiator, transmission line, cooling line, and all that. And yeah, at the moment I'm tackling the Transmission oil cooler, transmission cooler. Uh, this is the FJ, it's very simple. Two lines going into the transmission, one in, one out. And the same over here to go through the radiator. And I believe that just warms up your transmission fluid but doesn't actually cool it, which is what brings me to the Lexus. And the Tundra will be the same. The line in and line out from the transmission now, it's going over here to the radiator, to a, um, a separate channel than the water. That will be for cold mornings to warm up uh, your transmission fluid. And then the circle makes its way around and it goes in here where the um, external oil or uh, fluid cooler is that usually mounts up here in the front. We'll see if I have a picture of it. No, it's just just a small guy. Let's go over here. Got it here somewhere. Hello. Oh, here it is. Something kind of like that. A couple different shapes. That one looks a little different shape than what I have in the Tundra, which actually looks a bit bigger. So I'll try to use this one if I can. Oh yeah, while I'm back here. Um, here's the lines going to this guy and the ones going back I don't see that may not that actually may not go to the radiator either <laughs> whatever so I don't really like um, my transmission fluid mixing I mean even in the same kind of device in the same loop as the water because if you have a crack you know it could spill in and make the milkshake and ruin your transmission uh, along with your engine all at once but I think I'm gonna leave it that way if I didn't want to run it that way it's an easy fix um, if I don't want the transmission heating which I probably don't need in Florida I can go here on the radiator it's in sideways so that's the top and these are the ports for the oil the transmission fluid I would just bl plug those uh, unscrew this and, pl and put a plug in or put uh, tubing from one to the other or just cap them off this is truly a separate circuit than the water you know you can just leave them essentially don't take my word for it <laughs> make sure you check your own vehicle and do your own due diligence all right not responsible for what you try this is my vehicle and this is what I'm doing so I'm gonna pop these in see if they fit then I'm working my way up. I gotta put in the put the AC compressor back in. You know what I forgot when I was down here? To get my motor mount bolts in. So I gotta finish that up too before I get anything else that blocks my way. So I just put in the uh, transmission cooler lines and they screwed right in to the bolt holes there perfectly. Wraps over the sway bar here, um, comes up here, but you can see we have a tiny space between the oil filter and then also between the sway bar and oil filter, very small space. So I won't be able to get this oil filter off without cutting it off and to get a new one on would be t quite tricky. So I'm starting to understand why the Lexus came with a shorter filter uh, to accommodate the room it needed with all this stuff in here so learning bit by bit but this filter will be fine for now oh, this is coming along beautifully see that mount up there for this connect perfectly and now it's just a matter of 
Doing a little flare nut work here. Which way am I going? Screw this in. Just get these bad boys in. And then I can hook up the front, which is the easy part.